Your drum kit sounds amazing and you've nailed your technique, but how do you translate that into a live and studio setting? You do that by using the Shaw Beta drum microphones. So what are Shaw Beta microphones? Basically, they are super powered microphones when compared to other microphones like the Shure SM series. They can offer higher output, extended frequency response, and are optimized to be able to handle high sound pressure levels for long periods of time, as well as being incredibly robust. Within the Beta series, there are specific drum microphones, such as the Beta 98, the Beta 52, and the Beta 56. Today, we'll be using the Beta 98 on snare and toms, and then we'll be using the Beta 52 on the kick drum. Before we start adding any microphones in front of the kit, you need to make sure that the drum sounds good in the room first. A bad sounding drum kit is going to sound like a bad sounding drum kit, no matter what microphones you use. There's a few things that you can do to make sure that the drum kit sounds as good as it possibly can. Number one, get some new skins. Number two, get some decent sounding cymbals. Number three, add some moon gel or dampeners to really help with the overtones of the kit. And number four, tune the drums. Today, we've mic'd up this Mapex Saturn Evolution kit. If you wanna learn more about this drum kit, head over to the Gear for Music drum channel. Before we start recording, keep in mind, there's no right or wrong way to mic up a drum kit. It's all completely subjective. So let's take a look at the microphones we'll be using and where we'll be placing them on the kit. Today, I'm gonna to be using two microphones for the kick drum. You've got the Beta 91 and the Beta 52. The Beta 91 is going to sit inside of the kick drum. It is really good for low end frequency response and it can give you tons of attack and clarity. The Beta 52 is gonna sit just outside of the kick drum near the sound hole and it's really good for the subby low end. Then in the mix, we're gonna blend them both together to give you the most perfect kick drum sound possible. So next up, we have the Beta 98. Its gooseneck design makes it perfect for toms and snares. Not only that, it has an integrated preamp, which gives you crisp, clear, natural sounding drums. This next microphone may be familiar as it is based off the legendary SM57. This is the Beta 57. However, it has a grill on top. All of the Beta microphone grills are made with a hardened material to make them a lot more robust. Just like the other Beta microphones, it has a higher output and a larger frequency response. We're gonna be using this on a hi-hat to give us some crisp and clear sounding hi-hats. This next microphone is quite a unique one as it is one of the only Shure microphones that has an interchangeable capsule. This means you can have a cardioid pickup pattern, a super cardioid pickup pattern, a bi-directional pickup pattern, or an omnidirectional pickup pattern, depending on what you want to use it for, which makes it incredibly versatile. We're going to be using the cardioid pickup pattern and we're going to be using it as two overheads. And lastly, we will be using the Beta 27 microphone, which is a large diaphragm condenser. Large diaphragm condensers like this one are perfect for room microphones as they can give a sense of space to your recording, as well as picking up any nuances that are within that room.
<laughs> Before you start recording, there's a couple of things that you should know. Firstly, think about the phase of the microphones. Make sure that the microphones are in phase. If they are out of phase, they might sound thin and lack any sort of detail. If they are in phase, they should sound how they sound in the room. Secondly, think about the room that you are in. Ideally, you wanna be in a designated room, such as a practice space or a studio to minimize any sort of sound reflections from the walls. So we've listened to how all the microphones sound isolated, but now let's see how they sound as a full kit. As you can hear, the Shaw Beta microphones are perfect for recording drums. Not only are they great for the studio, but by being so robust and durable, they are great to be taken just about anywhere. I think that the sound that we recorded today is almost identical to the drum sound in the room. But let me know what you think about these microphones and make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.